In this video, I'll show you how to use volume keyframes in Descript. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So let's assume uh, you've noticed that uh, some section of an audio level might be a little bit lower in volume and you want to use volume keyframes to try and match adjacent sections of an audio clip. In Descript, it's possible to use volume keyframes and uh, clearly, uh, if you've used applications like Premiere Pro, uh, you know, or even Camtasia, you know there are ways to add audio points or actually just keyframes. So for this section, let's assume you want to add the volume for this particular section. To add a keyframe, what you need to do is you need to select uh, or place the playhead where you want it to be. But before that, let us try and see if we can just move this up a little bit so that we can make this a little bit bigger. Now. At this section, let's say we want to add a, a keyframe somewhere here. Click here, right click, add volume keyframe. We have a small dot here. If you can see it, there's a small dot and then the mouse changes into these uh, arrows that point in all four directions. Now, if you adjust this keyframe as it is, you're going to affect the whole media. So you need to add another keyframe somewhere here. Right click, add keyframe and then come to the start here and add two more keyframes. Add a volume keyframe and then click here, add volume keyframe. Now, when you, let's say, bump up this particular section by whatever dBs that you're going to do it, you'll notice that it's going to get extremely loud, so don't uh, put it up there. Uh, but you'll notice that this section will go up and if you want to adjust the other section as well so that it can be uniform, you bring it up to almost the same level. The one thing that I would hope for here is if Descript can make sure that the audio or the wave moves up with uh, the adjustments that you make, but you can clearly see what changes you've made. Uh, for example, in Camtasia, you can see that. Uh, hopefully they can do that. But let's press on Control Z, Control Z. Let's assume you never added a keyframe at this section. If you bring this down, what you're doing, you're bringing this whole audio level down. So always remember you need to have at least a keyframe in front and then a keyframe for the section that you're interested in and then one that is for also the section you're interested in and one that will block the movement of the keyframe such that you don't affect anything uh, on the uh, edges of, uh, of those particular keyframes. So that is how you can easily add audio or volume keyframes in the script. You can use them and test them out to see if you are looking for a desired effect or to control the volume for a particular section due to conflicting media, how you can use them. I hope this is of value to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.